Hello! I'd like to welcome, welcome back to video games. Did we pick up the fire thingy yet? Yes, we did. Back to Harmony of Dissonance. Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance, to be specific. We are going to the Room of Illusion and go far, far, far away in the land before time. We got Spooky Fire Dragon. And Ice Block. I think I'm going to stick with the cross for now. Is this the right way? Ah, I think so. Money, money. Oh, it's just a... Excuse me for that. My mood has improved significantly since the last one, in case you only watch uh, this particular series. Um, because I managed to succeed. I successfully managed to record something from the 3DS. Uh, from the DS. 3DS. The 3DS emulator doesn't exist, and I don't have the technologies. No, but uh, it's I succeeded, and it really perked me up to do that. I got vacation for a week, and I'm gonna make the most of it. Like I did last night when I just played a bunch of ambition mode. Oh! I finally learned how to level up uh, leadership, and Lu Bu is just skyrocketing. So, have we done Fire Punch yet? Casual wear for the casual man. I think we'll hold on to the magic punch. This is the magic punch. It's really powerful. Lucky charm, eh? Considering criticals are a thing. This is a warp device. I don't know. Uh, so, in every Castlevania game ever, when you first find a teleporter, you un always go somewhere else. Which I like. Where are we exactly? I think we're in, we're in the treasury, right? Yeah, we're in the treasury. Are we also in Castle B? I think we are. It's hard to say. Give me a moment. Oh no, you can see a slice of the map I'm using. I think we are in Castle B. So there's two castles, like, uh, I think someone mentioned it, possibly. That, yeah, there's two castles. Castle A and Castle B. Yeah, that's fine. I got some experience out of the guy. Yeah, we are in Castle B. Do not like these guys. Don't worry, there's a merchant close by. We can spend some of our money and buy some potions. Got a wristband! What's a good thing? I don't need defense all that much. Like, I took a couple of beatings, but I think this game does not have the wacky stat system that Circle of the Moon had. Where they were basically like, oh man, you get 100,000 points, but it only increases your defense by like two. I don't get skeleton flails. They're 
placing in games is more erratic than anything else. Like, you'll see them at the beginning in some, or at the end. It's kind of hard to say where they'll show up. And since we're actually on map B, I might as well put it down all the way. So yeah, we don't know this yet, but it's a thing that shows up later, is that there's a good castle and a bad castle. In one lives Spooky Scary Maxim, and the other is Nice Guy Maxim. We get a heart up. Sweet! Sweet deal, Ruby Bleal! And we'll keep saying that until the end of time. It's just a freaking good thing to say. I mean, who the hell uses a drink as their password? Like, just the just the name of the drink. Like, not even something at the end, like 1, 2, 3, 4. Come on, man. You're gonna have an easy to guess password, at least append something that you can remember easily too. On the plus side, you can just go under blazes and they're like, Hey, just walk on through, pal! Good buddy old chum! We won't be a bother in the slightest! Do I wanna go down? Oh no 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 now we're here, yeah, yeah. Um So there's something we can do here. There we go. So I didn't know this at first, but if you do this, you get a merchant. This is where you're supposed to meet your first merchant. I got him... Later. A bit later. Every merchant has their own conditions, but some are just always there. He only buys gems. Really? Not even emeralds? Or topaz? Oh, man. Oh, I'm gonna buy all your potions, except I can't. Let's first buy some basic amenities. Okay, I have uh, some anti-curse. That's good. I guess I'll buy another anti-curse. And for the rest, stock up on potions. Oh. oh, that feels good! Wow! I'm just gonna pick up her first furniture soon. The reason they use that boss guy, by the way, is that he is, you, he's actually pretty easy to kill on a higher level, so you might accidentally kill him when you don't want to. I hate those bombs. Ah, let's go for the magic punch. It is, after all, really powerful. You are the guy. Hold it, little doll. Pen David. Hey, peeping toms. I think Uncurse in this game just makes you slower. So it's not as bad as it was in Circle of the Moon, where it effectively just made you a weakling. Oh, that's a good increase! Ooh! Digging it! Ooh. I feel so tough, I think I want to drink a potion on that one. If only to stay alive. <sighs> Look at that fresh health bar.
Oh yeah, the furniture. I almost forgot that's a thing in this game. So yeah, we can collect furniture and uh, decorate a very specific room with it. Uh, the room is the same decoration if you are in Castle A or B, so don't worry about having to line up your crap for that. I really like skeleton flails and that their flail can hurt you, and it's such an awkwardly placed weapon. Okay, let's see. What does fire do? That's incredibly hard to aim. I don't think we want to go all the way to the uh, right, because going up here doesn't actually get us anything. Does it? I can't remember this being like end game area, but I guess it's not. We could take the elevator, but you know what they say if there's an elevator, there's something on the other path. Watch out, Skeller Bones! They make a really satisfying noise. Man, I love seeing Skeller Bones. Ah! Why would you? Why not just put the requirement lower? Don't do that. That's meanie pants. Oh, this is locked with a magical seal. What a gorgeous elevator ride! Man, I sure do love me some elevators. Why did it make such a bang when? Ah, oh, I don't care. Level up! And our health bar goes up a bit, because you heal the difference. Oh, fuck, I hate Curse. There's a place where Curse is going to be much more annoying, which is uh, a specific boss called Legion, who will curse you in place while his body eats you. It's actually a really clever boss design. If you ask me. Yeah, we're about to approach the other room. I forgot, are we supposed to go left or right first? Only 25 bucks. Yeah, and as you progress and find more pieces of furniture, you'll slowly but surely decorate this place into magnificence! And show that tasteless room. Where it's at. One thing I wonder why they never brought it back is shields. A lot of future Castlevania games did not feature shields, and it was mostly uh, Symphony of the Night that did it. I think they might have had shield mostly because of, you know, the shield rod, but still, it's, it's kind of awkward. That that never came back, and everyone's like, oh look, we're gonna bring back the dash and the after images, which mostly work because of the high fidelity of the console. I mean, it's not an effect you should take lightly. I mean, this stream of blue just makes him look like he drank too much water. That's a joke no one will get. Oh no, it's a Skellerbones! Hello, Mr. Skellerbones. I'm gonna whip you. Yeah, I showed you what for. You got ankle guards! Your ankles are now guarded. Aw oh, man, look at how guarded these ankles are. I feel like I can trip for days. Potion in the summer! Potion in the rain! Yeah, bitch, what you gonna do, bitch, 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 bitch? I'ma whip ya! I'ma whip ya good!
Don't say horror dor dor da. It's impolite. Jesus, this guy is just unbelievable. I don't think we can actually get what's at the top. Which is kind of sad because it means that I came down here for nothing and the game pretty much didn't tell me. That's just a hard up, but still, why is this such a common theme? It's like, oh, you went down this long hallway with enemies? Can't get what's at the end of it. Na 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 neener neener neener. I got you good with bad game design. Like, at least leave the mystery for me. Alright, just... Uh. Magical fists. I don't even think we can do it. Yeah. <sighs> shake that ass. Shake that ass. Malomar. Do 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 do. Oh wait, I think you can just, yeah, you can do that under him, and it's pretty cool. Wah, wah. By the way, we, we have been for ages without a save point. Look at the map! Still no save point. This game has one baby issue that I don't like, and that's the fact that, yeah, this... Like, I get that potions are, like, super cheap, and you can mass stock them. But, um, you could just make potions more expensive and make save points slightly more common. Which I think is what they did in Order of Ecclesia. Which I also didn't quite like, because the game was really rough and tumble. It was just relentless. I died so often, and I get the feeling, am I supposed to be levels higher, or...? You're not giving me good clues here, Vigi game. That's not a spear, sir! That is a hell bear. I got a thigh table. That'll look lovely with my chairs. Oh no! We don't have the power to jump this far! Or do we? So yeah, can someone explain to me why this puzzle exists if it's A, not a puzzle, and B, just kind of shows off, look what we can do with Skeleton Man! Look at this scaling and transformation! It's amazing! It'll make your head spin. Oh, you sure made my head spin. Hey, it's Krokomire! Hi, Krokomire, what are you doing in this Maidvania game? Looks like a high heel shoe. Oh, I do like his, his soul in, um... Dawn of Sorrow, and I like the way that he's used in um, uh, Symphony of the Night, where he solves a puzzle and gives you access to great new treasures. Neener, neener, neener. No, he is Castle B Evil Maxim. Oh yeah, welcome Blood Skeletons or Skeletons. They're exactly what they say on the tin. They are Blood Skeletons. if you get anything for getting all the furniture. There's a secret above here, by the way, but you need the boots. You know what? You know what? How about we go beat up the boss? The boss is like a room over. I think it wouldn't hurt to drop by and say hi. It wouldn't hurt no nobody. Oh no, the other... yeah! 
The other uh, shop is like a, a the entire dungeon over, so to speak. Never quite one got why they always look in the background. Ooh, looks look at the f have we seen the fire bubble yet? Yeah, I think we have. Um So this is an interesting boss. See, once you beat him, he falls apart, and he's like, "No, I have been slain!" And then he's like, "Nope, I'm back." Oh, I forgot you're supposed to get in the platforms if he does that. Fucking neener, neener, neener. Yeah, I can't get on the platforms if. Oh, you Dick. Dick shit. Don't tell me how to use a potion on the very thing that potions are actually made for, right? That didn't go too bad, I guess. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Sort of a down the middle of the road sort of thing. Oh, yeah, we can jump twice now. Isn't Sylph like a reference? I think it is. Oh, there's actually. Oh, there's a summon book there. Okay. Oh, another thing that might interest you. You can just do this. And just get a whole smack of cash. And I think I'll do this. I think I'll just do this and listen to a podcast. And I'll see you guys next time because we've been going for a while. I'm not going back to the shop over there. I'm going to the shop. We'll start next time at the save point. There's a couple of things to get up there that we can't go through that pathway. Oh, you can't see it, but can you? Well, we can go up there now, I think. But we can't do all that much there. Look at these big buku bucks I'm making. Oh, it's money. It's a thousand. You can buy a lot of potions with that. You can really keep this show on the road with some of those. So yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um good on the boss better, but I don't know. It's his movement is to my I don't I think it's a bit erratic for what he wants you to do. It's like the sprite's too big for what it wants you to pull off. But my, that might just be me, I mean. I'm the guy that couldn't dodge in Dark Souls 2, so that should say a lot about me and who I am and what I feel about dodge mechanics. Or maybe if I just bother to stay close enough to the platforms that I couldn't get me! I fucking love how you can just keep doing this. Oh, it's so tasty. I wonder if the Bible would have been a better weapon. Who knows? Oh! Picked up some item. An item called Rock Leather. Oh, that's pretty cool, man! I was just killing these guys, and uh, the other one dropped it. That's pretty cool. Might have been used in the boss fight, but hey, I'm tough now. Tough as a rock! I have to say, for for what it's worth, they did do a very good job uh, taking over the Castlevania Symphony of the Night save thing and making it a bit of their, giving it their own touch. Because the other, original one is a polygonal thing that goes out and then the grave tomb thing, and it's like, whoa.